Hey YouTube, it's Louis 7 and in my last video I said I was going to show you uh, an unboxing, well, not an unboxing per se, but show you I'm going to do a video on R4. Well, in the mail today I have gotten my R4. Now this one is a different R4, this is for the DSi, hence the R4i SDHC for version 1.41, so this is works for the newest DSi firmware. So, and it works for, but this also works for the DSi, XL, DSi, Nintendo DS Lite, and then the original Fat DS. So, this is the box of it. Pretty small. It has a little Wi Fi, so you can update via Wi Fi. Uh, nothing much to it. Just everything in the back. Just everything about it. Um, playable game downloads. Um, uses micro SD card FAT16 or 32. So you need a micro SD card, which I've gotten from Amazon. This one I got a 2 gigabyte. Uh, the zooming sucks on this camera, sorry about that. Well, it doesn't even focus at all. So yeah, this is a 2 gigabyte um, micro SD card. So uh, let's see what's in this thing. Hands in the way. Now, I previously opened it before just to test it out, make sure it works, and it works fine. Perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. Alright, so, nope. When you open it, you get this thing. This is the R4. So is what goes in the DS, and this is the little USB stick you put the micro SD card with. So, um, alright. So, I'm going to show you how to set this up. And I'm assuming this is the same way as doing the R4, the original R4. And, uh, okay. This is the website you go to. I'm gonna put it in the description. And, um. Yeah, I'll put it in the description. Yeah. Alright, so you get this thing. Open up this. Nope. Alright, that. Here's the micro SD. Put it in here, like so, just like that, and bring your laptop, computer, and it's there. Alright, so I'm going to go on my computer, my notebook, and I'm going to show you how to set this up. Alright. Okay, now that we're on the computer, we will go to your internet browser. We're going to go to R4I slash SDHC.com. Like that. Over here, we navigate to download. Scroll down and choose your kernel, camel, whatever it's called. Now this is go to here. Okay, so this is different products. This is for the 3DS. This one is for the regular one, the one I have, DS R4i, and this is for the original R4. At that, the I mark. So we're gonna download this one in English or whatever language you speak. Let this download. And once it's done downloading, you open your where your memory card is. It's going to drag whatever the files in there. All this is made, I guess, this one, this, and this is made within the, once you start the R4. Give it time to download. This is the guessing the memo notepad this one I don't know what this is I don't really want to mess with it alright um... it's done downloading so you just get all these and just drop it in there just drag and drop okay now I'm going to show you 
where to get ROMs for this. Now this is this thing was made for to have all your games that you have. So um, try not to pirate. <laughs> I'm not uh, responsible for what happens with the law or anything that happens. Okay, now that's out of the way. Um, ROMs. Website I go to is Jimu for NDS ROMs. I'm not really too sure where to download DS ROMs. So you have to make an account, by the way. So search. Um, let's see. I downloaded Chrono Trigger. And actually, let's just look in here. In my DS, I have Spirit Track, WarioWare Touch, and. Oh, okay, I have Spirit Track and WarioWare. I haven't downloaded Chrono Trigger yet. Um, here it is. Now I have these games. I'm just making a backup of them. So I have them all on one card. So I can play whenever instead of just. Switching games in and out, like okay, I need to play this game now, so I can just quit the game, just go back in and play a different game. And it makes a save file once you start the R4. I mean, once you start the game the first time, it makes a save file. It'll take a while to load, but it's only once it happens. That's it. All right, that's on there. So once you drag and drop, and now we will go to the R4 again. Hold on. Eject. And now we will go to the R4. All right, once that's done, take this out. Take out the micro SD card. Get your R4. Put it in the back. Facing this direction, it takes a while. I mean, it, this is really, really snug fit. Grab your, grab your DSi. In the back. Uh, sorry about that. Right. Turn it on. Stylus out. Now the R4 will won't say R4 like the original versions. It'll have like some random game. This one says Alex Ryder's Stormbreaker by THQ. So you can tell that's the R4. If it has like some random game. Alright, so this is that. R4. For some reason, my 3DS, I probably downloaded the wrong one. <laughs> um, but it works the same for some reason. Okay. Nope. Oh. Random thing happened here. Okay. Go to games. Now, over here, you'll have games. This Chrono Trigger. There's Spirit Track, and then there's WarioWare. Now let's go to... let's pick a new game. Alright, let's pick WarioWare. I'll show you what happens once you start the game. You're creating save file. And it seems to be working. Everything seems to be working fine here. Very handed. Yes. Pause the game. That's up. Okay. So, um, that's about it. Quality is really good. Nothing wrong with it. And so that is it. And plus, the good part is too, so you can close it and it'll still go into sleep mode. Well, some versions, people say that it will not go to sleep mode even if you close the DS. So, um, any questions? Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up. <laughs> uh, okay, see you in the next video.
Alright, thanks for watching.